Hello, everyone. You're welcome to our uh, channel today. This is a weekly analysis forecast by Trader C. Brown. Now, for those of you joining us for the first time, I believe you have watched all our previous videos and you have been able to see what we do every week. So today is week 18 that we're forecasting. We're going to forecast week 18 and looking at the market based on the movement that has happened previously and what we expect to do in trading week 18. So I'm going to be looking at a few pairs, especially GDP USD and Euro USD. Also, we'll be looking at um, SP500, which is US 500 uh, indices or stocks. We're going to be looking at all of these uh, commodities and pairs, and we'll look at possibility of having a wonderful week. And also, we'll have to put into consideration the fundamental reports that are coming out this week as well. Remember, it is NFP week. The first week, first Friday of the first of the month. So we're looking at the month that is beginning May, and we're going to be having several economic reports that may may not. You see, it depends on the kind of trader that you are. It may obstruct your trading, and it may not, depending on what your trading system is and what time frame you're using and how you trade. So please put that in mind because these days the movement of the reports that we see that affect the market, the way the market moves and when the reports are released is obviously uh, disturbing because uh, the, the, vol the volatility, the momentum and all of the, uh, 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 the spikes that happen in the lower time frame, you don't want to be there. So I will look into that with you in a moment. So first, let's go right on to the charts. We are looking at, let me start with GDP USD. Now with the GDP USD, this is the daily time frame. You can see that the market has begun um, shifting uh, directions, but a very tricky one, very tricky one at that. The question is, will the market continue going down? First, you have to look at the behavior of the daily. We understand that this low has been taken out recently and the market has really done that so well. We have that break to the lower side whereby the market came back and retest. So this is a break and retest that we can see here. So that's why it is gonna be very difficult for us to conclude that the market is going up and it wanna break, it wanna start uh, uh, you know, buying. Although we predicted that the market was going to sell lower, but we we anticipated that there would be a pullback. Remember, last week, we anticipated that there were going to be a pullback, but the pullback extended way beyond where we anticipated. So all we can see is that there was a liquidity taken on the GDP USD on the daily time frame. So we have that liquidity grab. So the question will be, what happened? What will happen after this candle has closed? We can see that the candle closed in bearish, which also indicates a rejection. So we can see that there's a break and a retest that the market did on this level, a break and a proper retest. So we should anticipate price going down the more, but what if price break above the high? Then we can think of buying. Very simple analysis that you need to look at. If price break above, wait for it to pull back and then continue to the upside. But at the moment, all we can see that this strong area of price, this major key area of 24, 2500 within that range, price 2500 actually, you, you can see the price is retrading below already 25, 1.25 psychological level. Uh, that means price is still going to go down. So we're going to look at that. We have a, a break and retest on that. So that's the daily uh, perspective that I'm looking at on the daily time frame. So for that reason, if I am going to the four hour, I'll be looking at more opportunity to sell. So let's see what happened on the four hour time frame. Now, on the four hour time frame, we can see that price began to run bullish. So, on the daily, we are still bearish. On the four hour, we are bullish. So, what does that mean? It means that the market is shift, shifting momentum. As you can see, um, this move to the upside broke, obviously, um, tap into this high as equal high. 
and then eventually this rally up broke the high, gave us a new higher high on that trend. And then we have another swing, which was a consolidation phase, as you can see. So we can anticipate that this is a liquidity graph on the four hour because of that movement right there. Remember we talked about that liquidity that, uh, that the, the daily have. This was the liquidity of the daily. And we can see that this is the liquidity of the four hour being taken. But if we're to look at this, we can see that this is a new structure high, okay, that the market created. So we could anticipate that the price will go up, but look at that. We must see the price break above this high. So for us to look for a continuous push up to buy on the four hour, we need to see the price break this high, all right? Create a new higher high and then we continue buying. So on GU at the moment, the price tag is still unpredictable. That means the direction at which we're gonna be looking at taking the trade, we can just conclude yet until the market change. So what if the market begin to rally down and break this low and then create a lower low by taking out this low, then we'll be looking for more sales, you see. But at the moment, we can see that the pattern from here is obviously a rejection at this key level. So if price is rejecting at that key level, what does that mean? It means to us that price want to begin, again, continue selling to the downside. So all I need to do is to give a confirmation by highlighting that trend line and put an alert there. And I will say a price close below or close below it by close bar. That means once back per close. And that means I will receive an alert. What that means to me is if price break and close below that, then I'm looking for sell. I'm gonna be looking for sell setup. But until that happen, I'm not gonna do anything of such to sell. Now, another thing I will do is to put another trend over here. You see, another trend line over there, and then I will be anticipating, okay? I'm just see if we can get a clean one there. All right, maybe something like this nature, which is nice. Great, so we have that. And I wanna see the price break close, okay? Price close. Let me just show you what I'm doing. <laughs> price close. This is technical analysis 101. So you need to know this. Price close above this. So I'm still going to put again another alert on this one, on this trend line. I want to see the price close above it. Price should close, bar close, crossing above it. And that will give me a confirmation that I should be looking for buys. Until that happens, GU at the moment will not be giving any trade setup. Now, remember, the daily trade analysis, I mean, the daily trade setup that I do on our website of those in the Telegram group is still very, 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 very effective. Although last week we have one loss on NAS, on, uh, was it um, NAS 100? We traded NAS 100, we had a loss on it, but which obviously I'm going to look at that in a moment to explain a few things. But here is... Um, here you come and take that for on the website. You will see this link on the video description below. Click on the daily trade analysis and setup, and it's just 30 quid per month, and you subscribe to it, you'll be receiving on the Telegram group, you'll be giving a Telegram group where you'll be assessing um, these trades every, every day, every day if we get a setup. Now, let's go to Euro USD. So this is my take on GU at the moment. I'm not going to take any trades. I'm still going to watch out for what the price would do um, at the moment. So here, I'm looking at Euro USD. Now let's go to the daily on Euro USD and see exactly what the market has done. Now, obviously, Euro USD looking very bearish on the daily. Uh, we can see that the market has given us uh, several. Obviously, you see this was the last high that the market created and then we had a break. So here we had a smash down where the market took out that low and then started trending down. So here we have a new break. So here we are actually looking at selling on Euro USD. So Euro USD is clear for sell on the daily. And if you also mark the this key area, 
where price is reacting to. You can see obviously price is retesting and break, break and retest and obviously closing below that area. So we have to anticipate uh, that the market will still go down. So due to that, we'll be looking for sell on Euro USD. But let's go to the four hour time frame. Now on the four hour time frame, we see the price is now remember the daily is bearish. Okay. So we need to see that the four hour is also bearish to confirm this. So at the moment we can see on the four hour price actually created this swing low right here, this low that it created. Okay. All right. That give us a what round of structure and you can see the price broke that low with this structure down there. And if you stretch it out, we can see that the obvious break is here. And then we can see the price took out this high and then give us a new bullish ride. So we become, we, we, we're now looking at bullish momentum. So we see price again pushed up from here on the four hour and looking bullish right here. And then price broke that high again. And then we have that bullish momentum. So price give us a top and bottom, which obviously was, was, uh, a kind of, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, a news report within that week. So what do we see? We are looking at that price is still looking very bullish on on the four hour. So if price is looking bullish on the four hour, which we can anticipate this, all right, right now. So price is still looking bullish on the four hour. So that means that we need to wait for price to start, you know, coming down giving us a bearish momentum on the daily, on the four hour for us to confirm for itself. But obviously we can tell that the worst case scenario that the market will get to this week is that it come to this trend line and drop. And then we start seeing a rally, okay, like that, then to the downside. So we start seeing that happening. But at the moment, um, we could tell that this, this ending candle that just closed, may eventually continue to the downside to take out the liquidity low and then we'll look for a buy. So if we see that price do that, they, I mean for a sell, we we'll start looking for a sell. If we see that price do that by breaking this low, creating liquidity low and taking out liquidity and also creating that lower low, then we'll look for a retest at this key level and then continue to the downside. So this is what we're waiting for. But you know how Euro USD moves sometimes, crazy and sometimes slow. So um, watch out for this. And I'm also gonna be sending in the trade analysis that I find. So here is what you do. Put a trend line there and also do the same thing like you did on Euro uh, on GU. You want price to break and then give you an alert. The same thing on that, on, the, on this, obviously this, this, this particular one is extremely from the, we're looking at that trend line from the, from the, uh, from the daily. So let's look at the one from the, this is the one from the four hour. Okay, let's take that out. Let's take the daily one out and look, let's keep the four hour. All right. So here again, this is what we're doing. We want to see that price break above that and then cross above them, we're looking for buys. So this is what you want to do. You set this up and you wait. So GDP USD and Euro USD, they are inversely because we see that um, on the daily, the, the one is trending, one is bullish, one is bearish. On the four hour, one is bearish, one is bullish. So you need to know that the, the what we were looking for is that they agree, um, each time frame agree with the momentum overall, and they will trade in that direction on the lower time frames. So that's what we're looking at on this. So yes, um, one more pair I want to look at so you can prepare yourself. Ensure, guys, ensure you set this trend line there on the four hour time frame and wait for price to give you an alert once you receive an alert get it done if you have it um, on uh, meta trader 4 set it up if you use trading view set it up like this very important that you do that okay let's go to five uh sp500 now on sp500 which is my new pair on my list watch list that i'm looking at trading um, is that the market began to rally up. We're looking for opportunity to sell the market. We can see that this is where uh, the problem was, which also affected NAS 100. 
we see. NAS 100 and SP500 was trading the same direction. So let me just use NAS 100 to explain this so that uh, SP500 will also take care of that. So you can see that they have the same structure in the market. So this was a massive drop. So we started out by looking at price giving us opportunity to sell here because we see that push. So what they did was to tag us in. So we, the news obviously relate uh, caused that to happen. We have several news report that day and that make uh, this uh, price to, to go against us because we were actually selling this market um, where was it? Uh, sorry about that. We were actually selling this market. We're selling this market from here. We'll try to sell the market from here and target the low. And that news came and then obviously a spike and took us out. So this was the trade that we took last week. Let me see. Was that the only trade we took last week, I think? Um, yeah, that's NAS 100. That's what we're looking for sale. And um, this is GDP USD setup. Um, that was four days ago, four years or so. It's not this was probably on Monday, all right. On Monday or so, we took that and we're trying to sell on GDP USD, which obviously pre uh, price didn't trigger now. Um, so last week, we didn't really take much in on the trade. So um, this week, we're anticipating uh, on this pair right now um, on, the, on the daily. Um, it's looking like price wants to still go up. So what we want to do is to look at the behavior on the four hour. So on the four hour, we have a clear cut here. Now, this is where we look trying to start looking at a trade. You see price came down, break that low. Came down again, break that low. Um, okay, we have that low was broken and that low was taken out. And this low was taken out, as you can see, uh, right there. And price just trending down, okay? Price was selling until we had a break to the upside. So here, is a rally to the upside. Price began to rally up. And then what we see here that price came back down and rally up again. So now we're bullish. We're bullish and we still need to go up. So we're gonna be looking for opportunities to buy on, on, on SP500 or NAS500. It's SP500 or I mean S, US500 or you can use NAS500. We're gonna be looking for opportunity to buy uh, this market. So get ready, those of you in the trading lab, and especially we're gonna be looking for liquidity that will be swept around this level, and then we'll look for opportunity to take it to the upside. So we're gonna be buying this market next week. So it looks very promising to buy. So let's go back to the four hour. And depending on what you're looking at, remember this market is a bullish market. So we're buying it. Already, we're going to be looking at it, uh, taking the entry, wait for price to come. Um, obviously, uh, there's liquidity here that might be taken, and there is an imbalance that needs to be filled. So I am anticipating that price will come to this level. So we're looking at it at the 15 minutes time frame. Maybe price take out liquidity, and then we'll look for buy. So this is what the setup will look like on the 15 minutes. So we want to see that price take out liquidity around this level. This is called liquidity pool and it will extend though. So price may extend because depending on what Asia session is going to do tonight and tomorrow morning, and then we'll look for liquidity grab and then we'll be looking for opportunity uh, to buy uh, at that level. So we can literally take one to two for the start, depending on price action. So this is what we're looking to do on this pair uh, this week. So get ready, guys. So I think that's all I'm, I, I want to take this week. Um, I mean, for the week, for this video, I don't want it to be too long. On the very brief, um, uh, maybe we might look at some other pair. I might do a video to look at the ICI structure of some uh, swing trade that can be possible 
for us to take this week as well for the week. So I will come up with that video tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have a, a video to look at the same trade opportunities that we might be looking in the market to take. So, but on to then, watch this video, go to your chat and ensure you follow the steps and do your analysis as it is done, as I've just shown you right now in this video and wait for trade opportunities. All right, guys, that's all I have to offer. For those of you interested in, in our mentorship, in our courses that we do, just visit the link in the description below. You will be directed to this website. You have also our courses given out for one year. You can be able to get that on a daily trade analysis setup. You want to participate and take trade, you also get that. If you want a mentorship, you can also call me for that. And those of you who want free course, I also have a free course session for you to take. And this is all available for everyone thank you so much guys i'll be seeing you again in week 19 i want you to enjoy your week remember remember the reports that are coming in this week are huge so i want to endeavor that you pick, take some time to prepare to prepare for the for the news coming in from on monday which is on the 30 on the 30th Oh no, on Tuesday, on the 30th, and then from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we have a lot uh, going on in the market. So you don't want to get um, get bust out. So ensure you close your trade when you're supposed to and get into the trade when you need to. Okay, very important. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you next week. Until then, happy trading. Cheers, guys.